I'm Sean the Shepherd. I'm swimming in cold water. And this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm just standing here feeding some pigs, getting my future dinners ready. But you know, there's one thing I love more than feeding pigs, and you know what that is? It's this view. Look at that. Let's come up a little bit here. You can see both of the stairways. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's coming together so well. Now we still have a lot to do. We still have to finish out the inside, but I've done a lot of that work in between episodes. And I'm going to show you in just a minute what that's looking like. Uh, but still, we, we need to finish up this hill. I'd like to put some cliff faces along here. Eventually, we'll have uh, wings to the mansion that go out this way and this way, and I've been placing a ton of dirt. I'm gonna show you in a minute where I got all that dirt from. Uh, we're gonna be, I've been placing a ton of dirt to flatten out those areas and make a big space for us to build our mansion on. I'll tell you, let me tell you, this has been a blast. Village Breeder is still working great. And look at this, over here, you remember this one? Built this in the last episode of Sugarcane Farm. And even though it only knocks off a couple each time, it's doing it constantly. So, look at that. Look at that. Almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost nine stacks in just a short period of time. This thing's working great. And you'll notice here, there's something missing. I took out a building. I took out one of the little village buildings that was right here. And I took out a village building that was right here. And that's given us some space, so if we want, uh, we can extend this farm or make maybe make a second module over here. I'm also thinking about eventually moving this farm uh, either to the lower floor of the mansion or into one of the wings. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, I want to show you a couple more things before I show you what I've done in the mansion itself. Let's head back down here. Now, in the last episode, we built up the walls. Uh, we built up the roof. And when you build up walls, you need stone. Well, this is where I got it from. I just came in here and I started digging. I said, you know, if we need stone, I better dig it out in a way that we can reuse it. And can you guess? Can you guess what kind of farm we're going to put here? Yep. This is going to be an iron farm because we are going to need lots of iron moving forward. But I was out there and I, oh, look, look, iron. Iron right by the iron farm. We might just leave that there. But I was out here uh, laying dirt, and uh, this guy came up out of a cave, started following me, so, you know, I had it in my hand. I threw a dirt block at him, and he picked it up. So I said, you know, you, you buddy, you're a keeper. And so he followed me all the way down here. I'd already dug the pit, so I just made him follow me in. He was stuck. I came in a little while longer, made a pathway for him out of dirt, and he jumped right in that cauldron. So he is there to scare our villagers. I've got some villagers up there that we can bring out and build an iron farm, but maybe maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Now, let's head down here and see how this is doing. Oh, can you hear it? It's working well. It's working well. In fact, it's working so well, I've had to empty it once already and it's still filling up we are getting string i've gotten at least two stacks of string we're getting spider eyes uh, we're getting all the witch drops which is excellent that's one of the reasons when i built this i made sure that it was a death drop they've got 31 blocks coming down so those witches don't have any chance to heal they can uh, they fall down and they die and they drop all of their drops in here yeah, I've pulled out the, the rotten flesh. I've pulled out the string. I've already pulled out gunpowder and bones. I'll show you when we get upstairs where I've been moving that to. But let's hop over here and see how the slime farm is doing. Hi, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm over here. So come on down here to our slime farm. Yes, eventually we need to fix this up and make this <laughs> look like a decent pathway. Uh, but here's our slime farm and... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. We're getting more slime than we will ever need in this game. You know, something to keep in mind, when you're playing in a single player, player world, you don't need those huge farms that they build on places like Hermitcraft and the, the legacy server. You don't need those big farms. You just need enough farm for you. 
And these farms that we've built should be plenty for us to build what we need to build. So I think that's everything that I wanted to show you down here. Let's head up and take a look at the mansion. Now, the first floor, this was a big project. I dug out all of this dirt and I replaced it with stone half slabs. Also came in here with some andesite and with some regular stone and we kind of roughed up the walls, made it look a little bit uh, older, a little bit nicer. And you see, if we come out here, this is where all that dirt has gone. We've begun to flatten out a plane and this will come, this wing will come all the way out here. This will all be covered up by this wing. So we'll have a section here where the drops from down below, they'll come right up and drop, I think it's right there, and drop into that water stream. Now, if we head back in here, oops, looks like we're missing a block. Uh, built two stairways up. I'll show you those from the top. We won't go up that way just yet. Still have a couple windows out here in the back. I'm, I'm thinking about keeping them. I like the view. Uh, I want to strengthen this structure here. This is for a balcony. Now, you notice we finished out the window here and we've got a balcony up there. I think these need at least one more block to give them some structure, but we're, we'll work on that a little bit later. Let me take you up top and we can see what we've been doing inside. Right around here up these lovely stairs. Oh, I love the feel. Love the feel. Walking through here, stopping, looking out on our domain. Look at those beautiful hills. And then we enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This should look a little bit different than the last time you were here. Uh, there's that balcony. There's that, uh, that big arch up into the balcony. We've put in a fountain. Uh, we have stairs now winding up onto a second floor. Uh, we finished out uh, the storage. Look at this. Look at all this storage that we have. We have two levels of storage here, and I haven't labeled any of it yet. That's something we'd, I'd like to work on today, uh, but I know where everything is. This is my dirt section. This is my stone section. This is my wood section, and then this is greenery, and then I think redstone. Redstone's maybe down here. Yep. And we've put in, we've even put in, this is something you need to do, is just put in workbenches in random locations. Then if you're here and you realize you need something else, click and you can craft anything that you need. I uh, now ended up with a little bit of extra space back here. So I've been, I've been living back here. I moved my bed back here, a little bit of smelting. I'm thinking this will eventually be a great place for a small super smelter. But for right now, I got some barrels. This is where I'm storing things that really don't need, don't know what to do with. And then over here, you'll notice I've moved all the chests sideways. And this is because this is going to be our bulk storage. This is where I've been moving the various things that the mob drop is sending up to us. Just look at this. Look at this. Okay, and, then, and that's it. Okay, and I think I have a little bit more. Yep, I put all the witch drops over here. Now, if we go back around, you'll see I've already begun to create an item filter. So come around here and this will be right in here. This is going to be the water stream that's going to flow right over these hoppers. And if we look at the hoppers, there's the rotten flesh, there's the string, there's the gunpowder, there's the bones. And I ran out of hoppers because I'm running out of iron. And again, this is why we need the iron farm. It's because we're going to need hoppers all the way across there, all the way back here, all the way along there, all the way along there. That's a lot of hoppers, but once we have an iron farm, we can do that. Once again, here's the view going out that way. Still need to put in some dirt, uh, but over here are my tree farms. This is where I've been getting all the spruce wood from, and this is where I've been getting all of the oak from. So let's see here. That's the downstairs. Oh, if we come back around here, here's our lovely balcony where we can look out. This is just a small one on this floor. I want to show you the one upstairs. In fact, let's go up and see the sunset from it. And here are the stairways down to the first floor. And if we head up here and we head out onto our gorgeous, huge balcony, we can see all of our domain and we can watch the sun set over the swamp. 
In fact, in just a little bit, we're going to head in that direction. But the sun is setting, so now it's time to sleep. Hello, moon. Here we are up on the, the second floor. Well, if you, you count the first floor as the basement, maybe. So this is the first, this is the second. And what we've done here, I was thinking about putting yet another floor up here, but I really love this height. And we've got some chandeliers going on here. So what, what I've done is I've begun playing around with the idea of putting rooms on this floor. I'm still not sure about these walls, and I, I'm thinking maybe they need to come out either to here or to here. This, uh, this support beam of spruce seems to be enough for a pathway. I don't think we need all of this space outside the room, so I might, I might move those out a couple blocks. Still have not detailed in here, well, except for the painting, uh, but there's plenty of room in here. We could put beds and desks, and this would be a nice office area up here. We can have a nice bathroom uh, back in this section. And so we, I made the large room on this side, and if we go over to the other side, I've divided it up into two rooms. We've got a nice little room here with a little alcove. Uh, and again, notice we've put in the windows, we finished them out, uh, they look good from the outside. Uh, and again, over here I might, I might pull these out a couple blocks. And then just a little room, use this for anything. You notice we've done uh, the trick to get some support beams up here. These are just stairs placed every other block. And over here made a little dining area, complete with sideboard. Eventually we'll, we will get the details for uh, putting food on this table, putting a, a table runner on this table. We've got the chairs here so we can have our uh, little meals, our little meetings, but obviously we're missing the details. And again, that's, this is a hint of where we want to go today. So I think I've showed you, oh, we haven't been up here. Uh, these are just, uh, just flat areas. They could be like attic space. They could be storage. Uh, we could put a farm up here, a small farm up here. I'm not sure what we're going to put up here yet, but I've designated the space and we have these nice little stairways on either side. And there you have it. We, we're making some progress here on the inside of our mansion. But what are we going to do today? Well... As I look around and I see all of these details that are missing, I'm realizing that we, we need some things that we don't have yet, which means we need to go exploring. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to head off and we're going to explore. I think we'll go in this direction off toward the sunset and see what we can find and maybe, maybe gather some things that we don't have yet. Some of the tree types that we don't have yet, some of the flowers that we don't have yet. As we go along, maybe we can kill some cows and get that much needed leather so we can bring in item, make item frames that are gonna serve both as plates, they're gonna serve as decorations on the walls, and they're gonna serve as identifiers for all of these chests. So we need a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that we don't have. Oh, and one other thing, if we're going to bring any of those items up here, we're going to need ice. So first priority is to find an ice biome or a cold biome or a cold ocean. I think there's an ocean that way because I've chopped down some spruce trees. That's where I got my original spruce trees was over there. I'm pretty sure there's an ocean that way. And my hope is if we sail out, we'll be able to find some ice.
see it. Oh, do you see it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Where is that all there is? <laughs> I know there's got to be more than that. Let's make our way in here. Let's see if we can find any naturally occurring blue ice. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Let's go take... Good for one we can take down. So we will have all the ice we will ever need. Ah, here we go. Two things we need. One, ice. The packed ice will be excellent, but we could use some actual ice. Hi, guys. Are you mean? Are you guys mean to us? Can I? Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Back and away. Back and away. Is he coming? Oh my gosh, he's coming. <laughs> He's coming for us. Yeah, he's gonna get us. Ah! Okay, back away, back away, back away, back away. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> they can walk on water. We got Jesus polar bears. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, he's over there. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just keep going. Bye. Bye. So here we go. Well, we've got ice, we've got cactus, acacia, turtle eggs, sunflowers, and kelp. And it's time to head back to the base and put these things to good use. And unfortunately, this is all the time we have for this episode. So if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.